Do humans have a chance to beat robots? The answer here depends on the type of competition. Watch the top battles between robots and humans and find out what we can do better than smart machines. Let's start with the hard part, namely the shaped, figurative, pancakes. Who can bake the cutest Yoda master? A skilled chef or a pancake bot? The 3D food printer is capable of baking pancakes by automatically distributing the batter directly onto the pan according to the design chosen by the user. At the same time, you can create the designs yourself by using simple software. The idea is great in theory, but in practice, Yoda not so much. 1 to 0 in favor of humans. Let's take the more complex creativity, namely the making of sculptures. Can a robot create something that is at least roughly similar to Michelangelo's work? Let's see! The robotic milling system for cutting sculptures out of various materials such as stone, foam, thermocol, wool, and so on is based on the KUKA robot. I have to say, the robot does pretty good, but far from genius. Although, in any of our cities, you can find worse sculptures. So, we'll leave it to a draw for this challenge. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments. KUKA generally likes to have competitions between humans and robots. Here, for example, is the company's manipulator trying to stand up to one of the best table tennis players of all time, Timo Ball. The robot has incredible speed, but who has better technique? This duel is officially won by a human, so it's two to nothing in our favor. The robot tries to take revenge on Timo in a game of glasses, and listen to what happens. Timo Ball won again, but it doesn't seem quite fair to us. Still, three to nothing is not in favor of the robots. In art, by the way, it is possible to not compete, but to collaborate with robots, thus achieving success. As for example, Nigel Stanford did, whose video Automatica became the most popular musician's work. Nigel Stanford did. KUKA robots have managed to get their revenge on humans, and not only in factories, but also in scientific research. For example, one robot arm closed in a laboratory was able to conduct experiments 1,000 times faster than a human, working 22 hours a day and spending two hours to recharge. And that's a definite win, since there's nothing to even compare it to on the human side. The score is three to one. If you had to guess, how do you think the competition results would be between the robot Yasukawa and the master of the samurai sword will end? Speed and accuracy are the obvious trump cards of any robot, but when you look at how the master copes, you can't help but feel proud of the human race. If it weren't for that last little detail, they would have called it a draw. And so, three to two. But we'll give the audience award to the human. Moving on, and here we have metal and leather barista competition. Both participants take their coffee from the machine, but they make the drawing on the foam themselves. And the winner goes to the humans again, four to two. But today there are even more skilled baristas, such as this robot from the Chinese company Orion Star. The robot repeats the movements of a professional barista dozens of times in a row with no fatigue or mistakes. But there is no direct competition between this robot and a human yet, so it's too early to draw conclusions. In this next round, a robot and a bartender. Who will make the cocktail faster? You think you can't beat the robot for speed? Nope, the human wins. Five to two and we're still in the lead. By the way, the robot bartenders don't stand much of a chance also because they simply can't decorate cocktails like we humans do. But KUKA is threatening soon to arrange a competition of its bar system with a live bartender, and with a girl at that. Judging by the teasers, the robot doesn't stand much of a chance, including spectacle. But let's not jump to conclusions. Alright, let's move on. 
the record for the fastest Rubik's Cube collection belongs to Chinese teenager Yu Shen Du, who broke all previous records back in 2018, collecting the cube in 47 seconds. An unbelievable result. But robots prove to be more nimble. Solving in three, two, one. So, the robot created by Ben Katz and Jared DiCarlo assembled the Rubik's Cube in a record 0.38 seconds, and we're afraid humans don't stand a chance in that department. So, the running score? 5 to 3. Let's move on to bowling. Who do you think will win here? Oddly enough, it's a straight contest. The man won. The professional shots were overall more accurate than the robots, and now our score is 6 to 3. Although, if the robots get upset, they might freak out and then the game will look like this. But who won the Boston Dynamics robot and BTS group members in this dance battle? We won't judge, so we'll leave it up to you. Let us know down in the comments the final score. As you can see, humans are still beating robots even in places where it would seem that robots should have more advantages. But robots don't give up and will continue to improve. We're waiting for the video of the Human Robot Atlas competition from Boston Dynamics. Just not that kind. Subscribe to the Pro Robots channel, like this video, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of high tech.